Welcome to Trading Lounge and the daily US stocks for Monday, May 16. So there's two ways I'm looking at the market. As I mentioned on Friday, we can have a low in place and we can move to the upside. Or we're going to just simply have an A wave, a B wave, which is all pretty much all in place, and then a C wave going up to the 61.8% from the last high here for this, and then down in three more waves here. So one, two, three, four, five. So we've either got a low in place and we just continue uh, to the upside or we have three waves and then we move down. It's pretty clear across the market that this first move up here is in five waves. So when I go to the 100 ticks just on the on the NASI and the S&P is much the same as well. So we can either have a low in place or we have an A and a B and a C wave up here. And in this case, it counts nicely as one, two, three, four, five for one and two and three and four, and then one, two, three, four, five for one and two and three and four and five here. So we'd be looking for, so this is important because this is pretty much how stocks are behaving as well. So, you know, as Friday closes strong, well then Monday is likely to follow through on that. So we've really got that bullish weekly cycle there happening. So the A wave, the B wave and the C wave. Now we could turn bullish because we've got five waves here. We know we're going to get another five waves. So it's either going to be wave C here or if it's going to be bullish, then we're going to see uh, a wave three. But we won't know it's a wave three in the first instance, but it does mean that we will get a classic trading levels pattern across the 13,000 here. So the arrival, the reaction, we're going to get this anyway, we're going to get this and this anyway, but will we get this? If we get this one here, then we know that we're going to have an ABC pattern after that. But once we also get this here too, this fifth, if we get this fifth wave here, then we know that we'll have one, two, three, four, five at that point, and then the ABC, and then we can go long from that point, and then we'll be bullish into the next five waves. So that's where we are, and that's how stocks will play out as well. So for Apple here, where are we on the 1000 tick chart here? We can look at the market from wave B down to wave one here, and then an A and a B and a C for wave two. And then we come down from that point, or we can have from wave B and wave C here already in place. And that's the low of the market. So just looking at that on 100 ticks, because we've got trades in the market, as you know, so we need to uh, clear those out. I don't want to go, I don't want to take them past or turn these trades into losses. So on Friday, um, just so we've got, you know, in most markets, we've got uh, positions in the market here. We looked at taking money off the table, perhaps half, maybe more, maybe less, whatever the case may be for you. Uh, and now we're looking at the A wave, the B wave, and one, two, three, four, five up for the C wave. So we need to exit here. And it looks like the little ABC is already in play here. I mean, in this case, you could look at one and two and three and four, but we need to move in line with the general market. So anyway, uh, we need to exit. We need to protect these positions here. We need to wait until we get these five waves in play uh, here. And then we'll just need to also wait for uh, to see if we get a wave four here or we come down at that point um, or we get the wave five here and then we have the A, the B and the C wave here and we'll be buying at this point here if we get that. So there's going to be some spaces in here where I won't know what's going on. We just have to wait and see. But if we do get this as one, two, three, four, five here, then we know that we could go long at this point and we can build in all on this side. So that will be exciting at that point. But we need to understand that first. And the same, well, Amazon's a little bit different. And with Amazon here, it's, well, it's kind of clear really that we've got uh, one and two and one, two, three, four, five here for the third wave, the fourth wave and the fifth wave here. So uh, this is a little bit different, but we'll also get an ABC here as well. So on 1,100, so um, 1,000. 
So we're looking for from wave two down to wave three, we're looking for the 38.2% retracement level. So in a nutshell, we're looking for, it's a little bit different off the low here for this, but basically uh, something of this nature uh, here and then down. So in this case, there's a pretty good case for more downside. So that needs to be taken sort of on board with the rest of the markets because Apple won't be going up while this is going down, so to speak, you know. And on the 100 tick chart here, we talked about, we've had positions in here, we talked about taking money off the table at this point. Uh, in this case here, we need to, this will be further up at this point. So we really want to take this out at that point. So that will close all these trades out and we've already taken some out here. So hopefully we end up with a little bit of profit uh, at this at this point. But um, yeah, I mean, this wave four could pull back to this wave four. In fact, the 38.2% is probably around here somewhere. So anyway, further up, we could look at this in a couple of different ways. It doesn't really matter at this point. Um, but we do need to move out of that and Google will be the same as well. So from the top here, we can look at it as one, two, three down to here and then an A wave, B wave and C wave here for wave four and then down for wave five. So it's either that case or I need to look at this as the high in the market. So instead of wave one here, we need to put wave one here and then look at this as an A and a B and a C wave finished here and off we go. So if we get support on top of the medium level here, the 2500, well then we'll be long from that point and we'll be taking those tops out at that stage there as well. Coming over to uh, Meta here, so the same thing goes as, uh, here as well. I mean, we could look at this as a nice little ABC pattern just to here, and then we collapse from here, but that's not going to be the case because the other markets need to push up. So this needs to push up here in its own way. Now, it might spend some time here. Um, I don't know how this is going to resolve itself in some sort of ABC pattern here just yet. I haven't wrapped my head around it. It's probably quite simple, but it just hasn't popped out at me just yet. Um, um, so in this case, I need to look at this as one, two here and three, four, five here for one and then back for two. Now, it's possible to have a low in place here as well. So when we look at, I think it was the daily chart, we've got two there. We'll have a look at the bearish count. So this is the bearish count where we're looking for wave four here with one here and two here and then one, two, three, four, five here. It does count quite nicely up here as an ABC, but the problem is, is that it really spiked up here. So I don't really know what's inside of that spike there. The other count here too that we've had a look at now and again is this one here. Uh, but in this case, I've put the wave one and two in this place. So it's possible for this to move up, but this may also just be, if I can take the liberty of putting this as wave three here. and copy that and put a wave four here which is probably also a good reckoning as well for this market so um, we'll just need to be a bit mindful about that but um, coming back to our um, 100 tick chart here we need to um, once again we took some money off the table here um, we've got a nice little impulse wave here it could be a little abc pattern here but the problem with that is it looks a little bit corrected here and a little bit impulsive here so it can go we need to put the um the stop if you want to bring that down on top of this one here that's fine um because that looks impulsive to me as well so yeah we need to be out of this one and that brings us over to microsoft and with microsoft here it's the same thing again as well from this top here we can look at this as an impulse wave with an abc coming back to the 61.8 percent and then down or we need to put wave c in here and we've got the low in place so if the low's in place we definitely need to see some sort of impulse wave past this three wave structure that will help confirm that you might think well the lows definitely in in that case you can uh, you know go in and start stacking but um for me i need to have i need to see an impulse wave here and not a corrective wave at this point but let's go in and check on that so 2k and 100 
So in this case here, we'd be looking, it's pretty clear, it's an impulse wave here. So we've got uh, the A, the B, and the C. And then normally the A wave is quite sharp as well. So an A, B, C for, the, uh, for a wave two here. Once again, if we see that we get a wave four here and then a wave five up here, then we'll just chill and we'll be buying the 50, 60% retracement level when it comes back at this point. So in a way we miss something, but in a way if we're patient, we can get the right, get the timing for the market at that point. So let's just see. Um, of course, we need to look after our trades here as well. So we're not going to go the distance here. We've got, um, We've got a few in at this point. Once again, on Friday, we looked at talked about a possible low being in place, taking some money off the table. And from here now, you can see that, well, if you've got a keen eye for Elliott, then you can see that we've got a nice impulse wave here. So we're definitely going to be pushing up further. Uh, can you go long at this point? I don't see why not either if you wanted to... Um, uh, if you wanted to, to do that, uh, so you could do that on all of them if you wanted to and trade up and get out um, or because uh, Monday will follow through on the Friday. So you've got that uh, in a way, it's quite a perfect trade, really, because you've got five waves here. So we're going to get another five waves. So it gives you a nice little stretch to go to for those folks that want to stay in the market for maybe maybe Monday and half a day on Tuesday or something. Um, but Tuesday can pull back in the morning, like like do that in the morning and then push up uh, in the afternoon. So just be mindful um, of that. But uh, yeah, we need to exit. And the same with Tesla as well. We've got positions in here. We talked about taking money off the table here. Uh, it's got the same sort of pattern here as um, Facebook, Meta. Um, but we also need to be out at this point. It could be an ABC to this point here, but I think that we'll be going uh, a little bit higher on this. So when we look at, um, let's just uh, take this back to 200, go to the daily chart and just chat about this for a moment. So there's a couple of things that can play out here. We've either got the A wave, the B wave, and one, two, three, four, five here for the C wave, and the market's got us low in place, and then we go up and we'll be taking up that high there. Now, you know, if this, uh, you know, if it is completed here, this is a corrective pattern because it's got three waves in the first move here. So that makes it corrective. Now, the thing here is that uh, if it is, the low in place, we'll, we'll be taking out that high, so we'll be ending up above the 1500 here, which is uh, exciting and a long way to go in all of that. So for us to get it right here, we'd be looking at, you know, trying to get an impulse wave in this first leg here. So being a little bit patient and careful here, it's not such a big deal to get it right, because otherwise, if we look at this here, we can just get a move up and then down for three, four and five here. So that's what we need to be uh, a little bit careful of at that point but yes we can call the low in on this chart here so looking at this here from wave B with one two three four five here I don't see anything wrong with that particular particular move there um, you could also look to to go long here if you wanted to as well in this I'll leave that up to you would need to go there if this it, this doesn't look like one and two and three here I mean it's a nice little gap in the third of the third wave here so to speak but it's a bit short for a third wave compared to this one here so it's probably one and two and one and two in that case um, but yeah finding support there you can do that but on the flip side of that on the 2k tick We'd be looking for it um, down here, all the way down as wave one here. So I know that we all have opinions about things and we try to guess things which way, which way or that. But for me, I need to move with the evidence and uh, we can take, you know, little bits here and there on that. So this will probably pull up in line with the other markets, even though this is a 61.8%. It doesn't really have to go that high as well. We know these things fall short. If the rest of the market is going to be pulled down, well, then this will be pulled down as well as here. But I just want to give it this one here. This and Meta have got the same little move off the lows here. So I need to reconcile that in some way. But um, we can move up to uh, 900 on this. But I would imagine if it was going to be this wave two here, it's just going to be something in, in here for this and 
and then down at that point. But anyway, we'll give it a bit of a, a, a bit of a look over. Um, we'll see how we go with that. And then we're looking at square now on the 100 tick chart here. Um, in terms of talking about lows, um, this was a count that had been looking at the tick on, on the tick chart. We haven't seen this one for a while on the 100 ticks. We've been working on a thousand, but it counts down quite nicely as one and two and one and two here and then one and two and and one two three four five for the third wave fourth wave fifth wave for the third the fourth and the fifth a little bit messy in here but it kind of fits okay in a way kind of not i think it's the best fit and then wave four back here and then you can kind of see your five waves down here so can we have a low in place um i think so um so um yeah, uh, over at 1,000 ticks. The other thing that I was thinking about here is that, well, if the other markets, just say for a moment, if the other markets are going to rally and then drop again, what count could we give this then? Because we know that we've got this move here. And we know that the other markets around the place are gonna push up again here. So I've got these wave fours up here. So it's probably that we've got a wave four here and then another move down if it's going to be bearish at that time. We can use the 100 as a, um, you know, as a classic trading level pattern to be bullish from that point. So even though we'll be missing out a little bit, you know, we could look at this case as one, two here and then looking up at, at three, four, five. So if we do get five waves up here before the 100 we'll, and it pulls back, well, then we'll move in at that point. Once again, we do need to protect these uh, moves here. Um, I was having a quick look at um, um, the tech stocks, a couple of them here. So, but this is kind of interesting here. This is the, this is a little bit sort of haunting as well, actually. This is the, the S&P low volatility market. This from the top here, it's, you know, sort of um, lagging a little bit, but from the top here, it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five coming down here. I'll, I'll need to have a closer sort of look at that. But, um, but if we do have five waves down here, then we're going to have a three wave rally and another five, as simple as that. I mean, this is, you know, Berkshire and Hathaway and the, the low volatility stocks, which we can have a bit of a look at, but I'm here to look at uh, <clears throat> stuff, on, you know, basically from Square. But I was looking, this is PayPal here. I'll have to check with Alessio, see if he's done a bit of work on this, but um, one and two here, one, two, three, four, and five here for the third wave, the fourth wave and the fifth wave. So I'm kind of seeing five waves down here. And this is the same with Shopify as well. Just having a quick look, I'll need to do more work at it, but it's the five, the five wave seems to jump out at me. One, two, three, four, five, four, one, two here. And then, then there's a nice little five waves here. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five here. Third wave in here is a little bit short and stumpy. So I might be sort of, might be, that's where I made my mistake. One, two, three, one and two and one two three four five of third so i could probably get an abc this is what i need this is what i'm checking for so um uh that would be there to there so the abc could be the to there i need to check on this if anybody's done any work please let me know but um we need to start looking at these because this also with square as well i mean with square here um that's that's from the top there so it counts down really one two three four five for one and two nice strong third wave fourth wave and fifth wave so we can have the low in here uh so what we're just sorting out now um but we what i'm trying to sort of look at here is that well we've got five waves here so that means that in the bigger picture we could have a an abc and then we come come down further you know uh so anyway we need to resolve that and um uh and, and the low volatility stock uh the s p as well appears to have this down which i had a bit of a look at this and i think out of most of the low volatility stocks it seems to be um uh, uh berkshire and hathaway here that seems to be the um the dominating market for the low volatility s p 500 um so once again here, is this five waves or is it, um, 
is or is it an ABC? This is one another little thing that we have to uh, figure out as well. My first look at it, I mean, I, I need a couple of takes on it. I'd like to have a fresh mind, look at it the next day and all those sort of things. But it's a little bit like Square and, you know, PayPal and Shopify and that where it's got one here, two here, one, two, three, four, five for the third wave, fourth wave and fifth wave. Now I do need to go over this a little bit, but that was my first, you know, two minute sort of analysis of it. Um, but yeah, this one here, the Berkshire seems to be the one that um, fits in best with put the S&P low volatility back on in, in 15 minutes. And this one here, um, on the on the uh, 15 minute chart, I can count this down as one, two, three, four, five for wave A and B, and then one and two here, and three and four and five. So I can get an A, B, C out of the the um, the low volatility one. But anyway, I think we just need to to check on these. So um, you know, even if we do get three waves down, it doesn't mean that it's the end of the correction. By the way, you know, it can still be a bigger um, it can still be a bigger um, correction uh, as such in, in, in all of these as well, you know, so um, so that's why we also need important, you know, when it's important when we do travel up here, it's, it's like there'll be certain ways along the way because first of all we'll have uh, one and two here and we might just go up for the like um, an A and a B and a C up here and then we go, okay, we're gonna get five waves up. Okay, we get five, and then we get three back again. Because we've got five here, we get three back again. Then the next five might just take us up to the 61.8% up here. So we can trade those five waves, but it doesn't mean that we're bullish at that point because we could still come down again. We'd need a larger five waves at that point. So it's just sort of building a case. And that's the problem when you're in a correction like this um, and you've got stocks that like square um, showing five waves down from the top so we just need to be uh, extra careful as possible to get an ABC down I mean we could possibly count an ABC down here but my first glance at it is one two three four five for for block and that's the same for uh, PayPal as well, you know, it does appear that it's five waves down and the same with Shopify as well. So it does present, um, you know, uh, anyway, we need to resolve this. That's what I'm saying. And we need to, uh, and you know, yeah, anyway, that's what we need to do. So uh, with coming back to square here, we need to exit our position. We need to look after what we've got here now and uh, we need to see what we're going to get here. We know we're going to come further up, so you could go along if you wanted to, but I'll leave that to you. I don't have a clear pathway on that. And then it's the same for BAC as well. So and Morgans and, and and whatnot. So we can count from wave B here, we can count down one, two, three, four, five here for one, an A and a B and a C back for wave two, and then we could drop from that point. So we've got a couple of positions here. So if you're in Morgans or, or, or this or any other banks, I suggest uh, looking at uh, tightening up a little bit and uh, we'll see what we get when we get to here. It'll be interesting to see if we get a sort of a a lazy move to here or a strong move to here, you know, because if it's strong, then we could look at it as a third wave at that point. But we could certainly put in, you know, copy this here, and we could certainly put in five waves down here for four wave C at this point and have that low in place there as well. So that's what we're up against at the moment with all of this, you know. And uh, yeah, so um yeah and on friday we talked about um you know the uh, spx as well we we could count down from the top here as one two three three four and five here counting down here and calling a low in here and just sort of re-looking revisiting that as well whichever way we look at this now this first move to the upside is in five waves to the upside so this is pulling back here and then moving up here again. So we can look at it as an A wave and a B wave and a C wave, or we could look at it as the first wave one in this case. So, you know, going long above uh, here is uh, fine at that point in keeping the stop out of the way. Alrighty, I'm going to leave it all at that. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.